So this is so crazy. You can just type in one sentence here inside Claude and it's gonna go ahead and generate a full blown N8 and workflow. I'm gonna copy this and paste it in here. And within a matter of a couple seconds, literally faster than I could make coffee at my home, <laughs> we've gone ahead and created the basics of an N8N workflow. And we're gonna be talking about how you can build this out in a matter of just a couple minutes. And I'm gonna be giving you all the blueprints for free. I think this is absolutely wild. So essentially I wanna point out here, it's not perfect. It probably gets you 50 to 70% of the way there. You will have to tinker and play around with this to make sure it's right for you, but it's gonna hopefully speed up a ton of the time required in building these workflows out. So let's get into how you can do this in the next few minutes here. First, we'll head over to Claude and you will need to subscribe to Claude's paid plan to get access to the projects here. And once you have access, we can hit and create a new project and we're gonna type in N8N workflow builder and then a description as well. And I'm probably just gonna go with N8N workflow builder as well, but uh, make sure that I actually spell this properly, <laughs> which I seem incapable of doing. We'll hit create a project. And there is two things that we need to add in to make sure to get this Correct. The first one is, is we need project instructions, essentially saying, you know, how we want it to get things done, how we want it to build these NNN workflows for us. And this is the system prompt that I have here. This is going to be down below for free for you guys to download so that you don't have to like pause and, and type this out. In a nutshell, what this is saying is, hey, here's the instructions on how to build out these workflows. And the most important thing is, is we're going to add a library of different workflows that we know are good and we know that work so that it can pull as a reference from those workflows, the exact nodes and recipes to be able to build future workflows for us instead of you know hallucinating certain examples and going kind of off the rails and so <laughs> that's the second part where we actually need to upload from our device and so I'm gonna go ahead and I have all of these different workflows that I'm gonna add in here to essentially provide as examples on how we can build out future workflows cool so I'm gonna go ahead I've added all of this in and now we can just simply type in a prompt. I'm going to say, please generate me a new lead workflow, N8N workflow, um, where someone fills out a form and we uh, filter them out based on a budget of $1,000 well, $1, plus, email them and notify our team via uh, let's just say Slack or whatever, or maybe email. And the only other thing I want to change here is I just want to change it to Claude Opus 4. Typically, it gets a bit better results, and we can hit the search tool here and make sure that extended thinking is enabled. This will just slow it down, make sure that it really thinks it through and gets you the best answers possible. And just like that, we're already off to building this out. By the way, all those blueprints that we added in here, those are all going to be free as well. I'm going to add them in the description down below. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to pause this and come back just because this will take probably like 60 seconds. And I'm pretty sure you probably don't want to stare at my face <laughs> while I say nothing for 60 seconds. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. And it looks like it has been completed here. On the right hand side, you can see all of the code that went into actually creating this. And I do want to point out that it was searching for past files before it actually started the building process. So let's go ahead. Let's copy this. Let's try this out and then paste it into the particular workflow builder. Okay, cool. So right away, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, it has documentation on the side here so that we can just make sure that we're setting it up properly. That's pretty cool. And then we also have this workflow here. Now keep in mind, this is a very simple workflow, but right away, it looks like it did do a good job getting pretty much all of the nodes that I wanted in here. So we have a form, it's pulling in the first, the full name, email, company, budget, project description, all that kind of stuff. And then it's going to filter it out based on the budget is greater than or uh, greater than $1,000. So it'll set as a low budget fills them out. If it is true, then it'll go ahead and send an email over to, um, to the client. And it'll also send an email over to our team as well. And so I'm just going to send this both to my email here, just so that we can see this in real time. Of course, it's not like going to be, this is a simple workflow and, but it's, it's also not going to get it right. 100% every single time. So you will have to slightly modify it. But what we can do is go ahead, try this out and see how this works. So I'm going to first of all, type my full name here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and enter in my email, ABC company, budget is 1100. And we'll go with that. 
cool. So it went ahead, it uh, submitted the form, we passed the filter, we sent an email to the client, to our team, and then the workflow has been completed, okay? And so let's go ahead and take a look at those results in the email. Sweet, so we just received the two emails here, and <laughs> my gosh, sometimes I put out blueprints and I just get all of these emails going to my burner email here. It's absolutely crazy, but I'm glad you guys like and you're using it. Cool, so the first email here is, hey Jono, thanks for submitting a quote form, blah, 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 looks pretty good to me. Second one is this, and it looks like, you know, we have a new lead coming through. Obviously, we need to map out some details here because currently it's not passing in the name, email, company, budget, all of that kind of stuff but obviously that can be added in pretty quickly and so for me i think that's pretty cool and i can give another example of a different workflow that you could build out using this so i'm just going to paste it in here and here we go this is essentially a different workflow that allows you to fill in via a form this would be like an external form not an nn form to be able to search somebody's profile on linkedin and then add data into a google sheet and so again not perfect but it could help lay the groundwork so that you could save a bit of time when building out your NADN workflows. All of the blueprints are going to be down below for free. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you found this valuable. Thank you very much. Take care.